Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 1st, 2020. I apologize, I'm running just a little tiny bit behind this morning. I'll hopefully catch up as we continue to speak here. Um, had a little software glitch that held me back just a little bit, but we got that resolved. So yesterday we had a little bit of bearish price action in the market pulling back, but there really was no fear in that pullback and relatively light volume on the day. I mean, extremely light volume on the day, and we kind of expected that with Cyber Monday. However, as soon as the market closed, it would seem that the bear or the bulls just rushed back into the market, ready to re-engage, kick things off, and get moving in a big way. So we have a complete overnight reversal coming in play this morning. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're looking at a market trying to push back higher, wanting to retest re, um, recent resistance highs, record-breaking highs, and um, we have nothing but bulls um, here in the market. It would seem at the moment, anytime we get some vaccine news, there was some new news this morning that Pfizer and Biotech applied for approval of their vaccines in Europe. Boy, the market just can't get enough um, news on that and it would seem that no price is too high even as we continue to push these uh, P&E ratios to new records um, in the market no one seems to care it's just buy all the time here in the market but we can take advantage of that and as this party continues let's allow that to continue but let's be really careful not to chase trades that are already very extended in their move remember when a 400 point sell-off in the Dow is insignificant and I mean insignificant 400 points very insignificant yesterday that um, also points to how much danger there is should the bears decide to really engage and push to the downside. So keep that in mind and be careful not to over trade or chase stocks well within their um, already extended moves in some places. So let's take a look at the charts and see what we can get out of this. Um, you can see we still have overall an extremely strong bullish move in the market. And if I were to shift to um, the Dow chart and just measure from here our March lows, measure from here up to here those highs, notice we've risen almost 65% um, since those March lows. Now, common sense would tell us that we're eventually going to see a rest or a pullback here in the market, but certainly not at the moment. It seemed, even though uh, Jerome Powell says that the economy is extraordinarily uncertain, no one seems to care. It's just buy all the time. So while we are in very bullish patterns and we're holding up very bullish, I think there is some risk here of uh, kind of chasing. Um, so watch that carefully. Now, if I look at the shorter term of this market, notice that we have a nice little upside trend here and we have a little bit of a flat topped wedge going on here. And this morning, we're going to run back up here and try to retest these market highs to see if we can break through. You want to be careful on that. Two of the rules that I trade by is, is I buy stocks at or near price support. I sell stocks at or near price resistance. So kind of keep that in mind as we push up into this price resistance, we really could see a defensive line of bears up here. I'm not suggesting that's what's going to happen, but just that possibility. So you want to be careful rushing into a morning gap, um, a 300 point reversal here in the Dow. So watch that closely as we push that resistance level in the chart. And let's also keep in mind, we are significantly below or uh, above our 50 day moving average. And anytime we extend out way beyond that 50 day moving average, we tend to get these um, kind of ugly pullbacks. So keep that in mind. Now we can just consolidate here. We can stay in a kind of a choppy wide consolidation sorry that's a two-day chart a choppy wide consolidation but we still have an awful lot 
of catching up to do with those moving averages really extended here. So just keep that in mind as you consider the trades that you buy, just in case those bears do attack. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Still moving up, looks like SPY is going to set new record highs this morning, pushing through strongly here, complete reversal. Um, overnight and once again we are stretching this market higher if we take kind of take a look at this that's gonna push put, put us um, if we look at the SP 500 index itself whoops there we go if we just measure this one and notice from our uh, March lows up to here that will be um, an extension of 65% in the S&P 500 since March. So extraordinary uh, moves in this market. And we're gonna have to watch that pretty carefully. So looking at that SPY gap this morning, we're gonna stretch that a little bit more. Watch that carefully and be careful to chase. But this was set new record highs in the SPY. If we take a look at QQQs, QQQ has been struggling trying to get back up here to get those new record highs. Hasn't quite made it there, but you can see on this morning's candle, we are stretching that right here, trying to push that higher, wanting to reach out there for those new record highs. And we may just, in fact, get that done today. So watch this price level up here as we continue to push higher and um, see if they are going to continue this big, strong move to the upside, holding things up. So watch that closely. Remember, we can always see when we reach those um, new record highs, we can see those bears re-engage there, so watch it. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been incredibly impressive here lately and just hasn't shown any kind of willingness to do much um, uh, but move higher here. And as you can see, we had a bearish candle here yesterday, but we're completely reversing that this morning. We are in a bit of a little sideways consolidation here. And one of the reasons this has moved so well is energy stocks, um, financials, all looking very bullish, but I would also point out the fact that this is a bit parabolic in its move, that we may need a little bit more rest. So be really careful in that chase, um, rushing in with that fear of missing out, because we could just eventually see that substantial pullback come into play here on the chart. And that wouldn't hurt any of the technicals, uh, by the way. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX had a little bit of action in there yesterday, Pushing up, notice that we popped above on um, that selling yesterday, popped above that 500-day moving average in the VIX, but quickly that fear dissipated um, throughout the day, and there just was no fear um, in that sell-off. Um, pretty amazing. So right now we're still below that 500-day uh, moving average. We do have a little bit of price support in this chart down in this area, so let's watch if we start pushing back down in this area. And honestly, I got to tell you, this makes a whole lot more sense than seeing the VIX um, kind of up here in the 25, 26 handles as we're setting new records. But it's still incredibly elevated for any time I've ever seen the market setting new record highs. It's rare to see us up here in a 20 handle um, when that occurs. Extremely rare. But that's where we are right now. It also points to the fact that there is that danger that if we do get that fear move that happens, it could be a substantial sell-off. So just plan your risk carefully. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four-week new high, new low ratio. And we can see that 400-point sell-off yesterday did nothing here to remove us from this overbought condition that we're showing here on T2122. Now, my guess is this morning gap up is going to push us right up in here into that rarefied air again. We're holding up at these high levels here um, with no willingness to sell off at all. That adds some danger to this market so just be careful we can continue this party I don't want to suggest that the party has to end and I don't want to be the party pooper that says 
you know, not to enjoy the party. But we do have to be cognizant of where we are in the market. And as we continue to extend, just make sure that you're planning those trades very carefully. You're not wildly chasing into stocks. Just watch that close. Make sure you have um, a well-planned trade with a risk tolerance that is, is acceptable. It's really easy to get involved in a chase move here oh my gosh i'm missing out i gotta hurry up and buy 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 and that's when things start to reverse so watch that close if we take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar has quite a little bit going on here uh today whether it will move us around much i don't know but we do have a couple big things probably the most important today is going to be the ism number right now that ism number is looking for a little bit of a pullback from the prior number so we'll want to keep an eye on that could move the market um let's just watch that closely right now it's been kind of if we get bad news like we get unemployment rising we get jobless claims going up we just ignore it and continue to push higher um, if we get a pullback in ism perhaps we just ignore that as well um, keep an eye on pmi and construction spending both of those are expecting a bullish outcome according to consensus and then always remember, anytime Jerome Powell is speaking, we should make note of that. I doubt we learn anything new. Um, he is going to be out there defending uh, provisions of the CARES Act, trying to get those reinstated, and continues to repeat that the, the market is um, uncertain. And um, as we continue to push these new record highs, that uncertainty would give me a little bit of of pause on over trading so watch that closely and remember we do have several fed speakers here as well um, later on throughout the day let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and I hope you see that these videos are a little bit different I'm not here to provide hype I'm not here to provide a whole bunch of prediction what I'm here to do is look at the technicals of the chart and point out the things so that price action could be giving us a clue on. And if you find that to be helpful, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and also feel free to share this video out there on any other social platform. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And remember that every time I show a stock in uh, these charts um, as a potential trade, that um, it's not a re recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever. Um, remember, you have to do your own due diligence. You have to do your own planning on these trades. Never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Never blindly follow someone else's trade. Make sure you have your trade well planned for your rules in your trading. Let's take a look at a couple of these charts that are looking really good and some of the better ones that I saw yesterday. Take a look at UPS. UPS pushing back up yesterday and we're holding this nice little upside trend and I really like this little consolidating pullback that we showed in here yesterday. Nice little rest back over to this trend and the bulls were stepping up, pushing into here, pushing higher. Now we do have resistance in this chart that we have to consider, but let's also consider the fact that Amazon has put out news today saying record setting sales and um, a lot of the retailers um, as well. Um, Black Friday set a record setting Black Friday sales um, happen. And so we can expect these shippers to just be busy, busy, busy. And the concern is they may not even have the capacity to get all those uh, purchases out in a reasonable time. So watch that closely. These guys are really looking good. Keep an eye on those shippers. Another, of course, would be um, FedEx. FedEx is also looking very bullish here. You can see holding that nice little trend, very concise price action in this chart. And 
this one is trying to break that resistance high right now so watch that closely fedex looking to move higher um, this morning let's take a look i mentioned john deere yesterday and john deere had a little bit of a surge um, yesterday ended up pulling back by the end of the day but take a look at that John Deere working this breakout trying to get through that level John Deere looking strong will want to keep an eye on that I also mentioned Apple to kind of keep an eye on Apple and Apple had a really good day yesterday pushing up now I have a price alert on that chart and you can see we alerted on that yesterday I chose not to trade it just because we're kind of a long ways from a stop loss in that trade but Apple moving up here strongly any rest or pullback that gives us any kind of hold of this new uh, price level in here uh, would be potentially an opportunity to buy and maybe a resumption of uptrend so watch that carefully we don't have that really clear signal of uptrend yet but if we get that clear signal, Apple may be ready to re-engage to the upside. Keep a close eye on it. Take a look at BLL. BLL is another one of those shipping container companies out here. And notice that it's been resting. And I did place an alert on this chart yesterday. Um, I like this really tight consolidation that we've had for a few days. If we can get the bulls to engage here, uh, to pop that through, we may uh, continue this upside trend in BLL. Watch that closely. We are kind of extended in these charts, and a lot of these are very extended. We also have that potential that we could fail here at this little downtrend. So this is one of those that can go either direction. Just one for the watch list, one to be paying attention to. Also placed an alert on JCI yesterday. JCI, beautiful upside trend. Notice big breakouts here. Um, resistance high breakouts in that chart and notice that we're just doing a nice little resting consolidation in here what I would want to be watching this for is if we re-engage this trend at any time for that pop back through to the upside and we extend JCI on higher so keep an eye on that one pretty good looking chart how about Ali financial now Ali has been one of those really really strong performers in the market but notice yesterday bearish engulfing candle as we pulled back in that chart just a well excuse me I'm um, misspeaking this is the candle this morning so Ally financial trying to push down this morning a little bit of selling as we pushed up trying to break through some big resistance levels in the chart but Ali, I think is still worthy to keep an eye on notice we've had these pullbacks here pretty sharp pullbacks and then we reverse and come right back up so watch that closely if the bulls re-engage in those financials and speaking of the financials let's take a look at xlf the spider select uh, financial etf notice that yesterday we had a pretty substantial push down but this morning we're getting a complete reversal back up now i still think these moves in these charts are pretty darn parabolic when you think about how fast we moved up here and should get on a typical basis would get more of a rest in the market whether that occurs i don't know but i know i don't want to chase this move a little bit or a little bit more rest in here could set up an opportunity that's a big overnight swing uh, back up so be careful on that chase but anything in the financials are starting to look pretty darn bullish so if we can get a rest if we can get a consolidation if we get any kind of a pullback those look pretty darn good and i'm going to say the same thing about energies energy is extremely bullish and although yesterday we had a pretty strong sell-off i like this move a lot more than i'm seeing here and actually i laid out a bull put credit spread for members of um, right way options yesterday for that potential here in that chart but although we pulled back pretty strong bouncing back up here this morning um, this might be one of those trades that you can uh, take a close look at and that opportunity that this may move on higher. For those of you that might be looking for a longer term trade, take a look at stocks like IBM. Pretty, pretty remarkable um, that we're talking about IBM here. Um, seems like forever that 
we really wanted to talk much about IBM, but notice we're breaking this downtrend, holding an uptrend. Notice this big sharp move that we've had here recently. No one wants to sell it. We're just getting a consolidating move over toward trend. Keep an eye on that. We might see something going in here. Some of these big old companies like 3M making a huge break of big time downtrends, trying to show bullishness in the chart. And we've successfully come back to test that level. If those bulls can hold in here, this might be that longer term trade that you're looking for, that big upside potential that could move. Just think, just imagine if this comes back up here to the middle of this range, just kind of a reversion to the mean, it could mean 25, 30 points in 3M. So keep an eye on charts like that. Other charts that are also uh, showing some potential long term. Let's take a look at AT&T. Big dividend payer. Notice that we're breaking this downtrend. We're holding support levels in that chart, trying to stay bullish. We may see stocks like AT&T perk back up here as well. So keep a close eye on those. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And be careful out there. Those coronavirus numbers continue to plague us. Um, bad choice of words, I guess, but um, causing all kinds of uh, problems in our economy, even though we're doing our very best to ignore all of the impacts that's likely happening in small business. So watch that closely with so many impacts coming in. It would not be a big surprise if we see those jobless numbers perk up on uh, Thursday just because um, a lot of businesses are being forced to shut down and close down early. That's going to affect a lot of people. So keep that in mind. While we're ignoring and trying to pretend this isn't occurring, um, it is occurring and those impacts are pretty widespread on particularly small business. So watch that careful. With that, everyone, have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.